So today I decided to do something that I've never done before in my 25 years of teaching art, and that's to have centers. It is the day before the weekend of Halloween. My kids are in costumes. They are very energetic, way too much sugar, or there's the anticipation of getting a bunch of sugar, not about to fight that wave. I decided I'm just going to ride it. I completely redid my room. A couple of different centers, or actually several different centers for my students to choose from. It was a huge hit. We had a blast and I thought I would share with you some of the centers that we did. That way, if next year or even in the near future, you wanna do something similar, I say go for it. They absolutely loved it. So let me share with you what we did today. My students of all ages love working with blocks. So I had three tables set up that were titled Build a Spooky House. Included not only were blocks, but also those little flickering lights that look like candles, as well as little spiders and bats. If they wanted to draw their spooky house once complete, they had their dry erase circles, as well as markers and erasers in that little red basket. Another popular center was for kids to design a costume using my mannequins. I had two tables set up like this with a total of four mannequins. These mannequins were purchased from Ikea and spray painted different colors. On the tables, they had feathers, beads, floral mesh, and felt to design their costume with. I loved how these two costumes turned out, so I left them on the tables for kids to see. On a couple of tables, using orange bulletin board paper and an ink-filled bingo dauber, I created pumpkin patches for the students to draw jack-o'-lantern faces with, with paint sticks and an idea sheet. On another table, I had black construction paper, metallic markers, and some how to draw spooky houses sheets. You might notice those stickers there. I just threw them out in case the kids wanted to use those to create pumpkins. Didn't have any takers on that, but they did really enjoy drawing their haunted houses, especially with those metallic markers. I found a couple of pretty plain looking haunted house quote, coloring sheets online. I printed off copies of those, and the kids, what they loved most about those was kind of spookifying them themselves by adding bats, cats, broken fences, you name it. I also busted out my fashion plates. At least that's what I called them as a kid. Now they come in a wide variety. There's superhero plates that you can also find online, and it was a way for my students to design costumes, and this was an activity that they could do while spreading out and creating on the floor. I created a little bit of a mood with some spooky music and some just a little bit of decorations that I had brought from home. And all in all, it was a blast. I thought I would give you a little bit of a peek inside of our day. I have 30 minute art classes, as most of you guys know. So once the students came in, they sat down, I quickly went through what each center was about. And then I called each student individually and asked them which center they would like to go to. That way I didn't ask a whole group of kids to go to their centers at once. I did limit the tables to two kids per table just so we could have a little bit of distancing. And about halfway through art class, I asked kids if they would want to switch. And a lot of them did. Some of them really got into what they were working on. For example, the haunted houses were a big hit where the kids really wanted to take their time and draw quite a bit as well as working on these sculptures. But some kids wanted to move on, and so they did. So it was a fun opportunity for them to explore several different centers, work and create with their friends. This is definitely something that I'll do again. I don't even know that I necessarily have to have a theme to do this. I'm already thinking of different kinds of centers and things to open up. That way, maybe when we're between projects, we can take a break, explore, and have fun.